an engineering solution for an induction motor drive. A thyristor based off starter with bypass relays and a sequential algorithm. The induction machine that we want to regulate. So how was the journey to decide and develop such solution and obtain a good result? Electric power needs wise management in electrified systems. Motors are still directly coupled to the grid in many places in the world. Selecting and developing the right technology requires physical and algorithmic know-how and understanding. In pump applications, flow control is accomplished in three ways, a throttle, direct online motor, cyclic motor with soft starter and variable speed motor with a frequency converter. When is a soft starter the right choice? Does it make sense to invest in a frequency drive? Right? Can motors with uh, frequency drives and soft starters coexist in the same application? Direct online motors, the cheapest option, start to abruptly. Vibrations are caused along with very high current consumption. And this is something that we would like to avoid. Frequency drives are the most advanced and expensive solution. They consist of a diode rectifier, passive, a DC link, and an inverter. In this case, I'm using an open loop scalar V over F control to ramp up the machine. Let's run the model to see some results. Looking at the currents on the motor side and on the grid side. Let's look at speed and torque. We can see that speed and torque are well regulated and increase linearly, precisely as we would expect it to be. If we look at the voltage at the DC link, using the passive rectifier causes lowered harmonics on the grid side, which might require filtering. The alternative is an active front-end rectifier that would be really clean towards the grid, but will increase the cost significantly. A soft starter is an intermediate solution where power is controlled only during start or stop. So if we use an open loop firing curve, this could be a satisfactory option. Here the result is not optimal as peak torque is almost as high as in, in direct online connected machine. In the second case, the speed is regulated in a closed loop control. Current during start is mitigated. the current waveforms at the beginning of the start and current waveforms towards the end of the start and then current waveforms when the source starter is bypassed. But the bypassing causes an abrupt surge in torque and current, but this is a solvable problem as we're going to see in the next session. In the final scenario, the firing angle is ramped down when the speed reaches 97.5% of the nominal value. 
by modifying the algorithm in that way, we can ensure that the bypass connection is done smoothly. And then the final result is more than acceptable. Often an optimal solution benefits from combining soft started and frequency driven motors. Equipment is preserved, impact on the grid minimized and cost remains reasonable. What if we want to develop software based on the desktop model we used? No problem. Select the fixed step solver in Simulink and the desired target file for code generation. With automatic code generation, embedded C code is obtained easily. Here you see the HTML report and the code generated from the algorithms in the controller block. Can simulation help to design and operate your assets? Is a model-based approach available for training or teaching? Or are plant models the final piece for effective software development? In any case, please don't hesitate to visit or contact us at any time. Thank you for watching.